Chapter 181, Stomping Genius Beneath, 1, Emperor's Power Transformed into a Sword That, with Mighty Power, Swept Through the Sky. Strand after strand of Emperor's Power that descended down was enough to snap the back of all living things. No one could resist the moment when the Emperor's Power went by, causing them to lie down on the ground. One sword sweeping through the sky caused countless people to become pale. The bright sun itself fell down, creating a dull darkness. Under this one sword, the Order of the Six Dao shattered. It was simply impossible to stop. Wan Shengjin immediately lost his expression the moment he saw this great sword. Even as a disciple of the Heavenly God's Sex Ancestor, he couldn't stop this sword unless his master was personally present. Open. As the sword was being swung down, Wan Shengjian went for broke and summoned his most precious treasure. This was his fate protecting treasure. He spread his palms and took out an emperor's edict. Boom. A loud explosion resonated as the immortal light shot straight to the sky. The emperor's edict opening caused the heavens to lose their colors while all existences trembled. There was only one word in the emperor's edict. Amnesty. This one word naturally blended with the heaven and earth as its emperor's power pierced the sky like a giant standing on top of the emperor's edict. Emperor's edict. Many people exclaimed loudly after seeing this edict. This edict was personally written by an immortal emperor as a symbol of his will. Clang. One sword slashed on top of the emperor's edict like two planets slamming together, causing imperial lights to shot up to the sky. Wisps of imperial lights rushed into the sky dome all the way to the deepest part of the horizon. It illuminated the endless black sky as these shooting star imperial lights crossed the sky with a blinding light that dazzled the sky. Two forces of emperor's powers colliding shook all of ancient sky city. Under the powerful emperor's aura, no matter whether one was an enlightened being or ancient saint, they couldn't help but shiver in fear. The emperor's power disappeared after the sword cut down, and the light of the emperor's edict also became much fainter. The word amnesty had lost the majority of its spirit. Even though it blocked the one sword, it also suffered heavy losses. Despite successfully blocking the blow, Wan Shengjian's heart was aching. This was his emperor's edict that he obtained from the Azure mysterious ancient kingdom with much effort. This was his precious treasure, a life-saving treasure. Only a common emperor's edict of a mortal emperor Qingxun, not a heaven's will emperor's edict. Li Kai held his zither and laughed. If you want to compete with my emperor's possession, you should be bringing a heaven's will emperor's edict. Finished speaking, he immediately pulled the strings again. Zhang, Zhang, Zhang. The zither sounded like the waves with the latter waves a pitch higher than the former, as the rolling emperor's power within reached the sky in a blink of an eye. The large amount of emperor's power all rushed out, expending all of the godly presence inside the ancient zither. If this continued on, all of the emperor's power inside this ancient zither would be gone and eventually, it would turn into an ordinary zither. Zhang, in the blink of an eye, this undulating emperor's power manifested into an invincible heavenly sword that hung in the high horizon. This one sword exceeded the limit of the sky, encompassing the sun, moon, and all of the celestials inside. This one sword, with its emperor energy, was completely overwhelming. Without any hesitation, this sword swung down and cut all of the world, annihilating all gods and devils into ash under its mightiness. Open. Wan Shengjian crazily shouted. At this moment, he had no choice but to throw the word amnesty inside the emperor's edict straight up into the sky, releasing all of its emperor aggregation to turn into the mightiest shield to ward off this invincible sword. Boom. Under this one slash, not to mention all of ancient sky city, but even the citadels nearby were shaking as if they were small boats amongst the unstoppable tides with their passengers in dismay. Too crazy. If this sword hit ancient sky city, wouldn't it sink the entire city? Everyone felt fear and trepidation in the face of this disaster. After a loud bang, the sword split a word amnesty. Even though an emperor's edict was heaven defying, its emperor's presence was less than the ancient zither that followed immortal emperor minutes ran his whole life and often played by him. The emperor's edict turned into ashes and Wan Shengjian heavily spewed out blood as he went flying outside. Boom. Wan Shengjian hit the ancient street, hard, as his bones broke, causing the dust to fly. Zhang. At the same time, Li Kai gently pulled his ancient zither and a heavenly sword turned into two sword edges that cut straight towards Dao Child Shengshen. Open Dao Child Shengshen was deathly pale with fear and unleashed his virtuous paragon life treasure right outside. A really loud boom resounded as the virtuous paragon life treasure flew out. It resembled a virtuous paragon in person with his undulating paragon aura. Bluff. However, even a virtuous paragon life treasure wouldn't do. Dao Child Shengshen was not powerful enough to exert the maximum power of a virtuous paragon life treasure. Under the majestic and invincible heavenly sword that unleashed the two decapitating sword edges, the virtuous paragon life treasure was chopped into pieces where it stood. Bang! The two flying sword edges suddenly shot through the knees of Dao Child Shengshen, causing him to kneel on the ground. Everything happened in a mere instant. One sword easily knocked Wan Shengjin flying away, and the sword edges easily destroyed a virtuous paragon life treasure and pierced through Dao Child Shengshen's knees. I suddenly changed my mind. Li Kai embraced his zither and slowly spoke, There will be many chances to slaughter your heavenly god sect, but today, I will spare your life. However, you must kneel down and apologize. At this point, everyone was speechless. No one dared to take a breath. And who would dare to ridicule Li Kai at this time? Such a heaven defying emperor's possession in his hand caused everyone to lose their mind. Everyone understood that, in order to have such a boundless emperor's power and immortal intent like this, this was a treasure that followed an immortal emperor his whole life. Even though it couldn't compare to an emperor's weapon, it was terrifying enough to terrorize all existences. Such an emperor's possession was just a bit more than two or three strikes. However, two or three strikes of an immortal emperor were already deadly enough to any cultivator. In your dream at this juncture, Dao Child Shengshen struggled to get back on his feet. The two knees pierced by the emperor's edges were absolutely fatal. 
If it wasn't for the fact that he was a royal noble capable of reshaping his flesh, he would have been a cripple. Despite this, his injuries were still very grave. Really? Li Kai stepped forward and heavily stomped down with one foot. Dao Child Shengshen changed his colors as his two hands slightly performed merit laws, wanting to stop this one kick from Li Kai. However, no matter how many methods he tried, he still couldn't stop this one kick that was like the towering mountain. Bang! Dao Child Shengshen's two hands met a stomp as he heavily kneeled on the floor, crushing the stone street. He painted the rock red with his blood, with a shocked expression and a pale white appearance. His bones all over his body were shaking a sweat as Big Azabin began to drip down. He had to use all of his strength just to support this monstrous stomp of Li Kai. Yuan Shengjian struggled to stand up after being knocked away. He was extremely alarmed after seeing the scene and shouted, If you still want to die, I can help you. Li Kai leisurely said, Today, even if you bring an emperor's possession here, it still will not save your lives. Be smart and quietly stand there for me. Wan Shengjian's face turned white, then green. To him, today was extremely humiliating. As a disciple of the heavenly god sex ancestor, even during the difficult Dao era, his cultivation still heralded forward. His power and status was enough for him to look down on all existences, who dared to not follow his whim. But today, under the eyes of the world, he was defeated by a little brat and couldn't even save his own sex disciple. Dao child Shengxian's sweat was pouring down, like the rain, on his trembling body. He was already seriously injured so, under Li Kai's suppression, blood began to run down the corner of his mouth. When you saw Chen Beijiao in trouble at the evil infested ridge and didn't save her, I'm too lazy for you to make it clear. At this moment, she follows me and contributes for me. My principle is very simple. Whoever hurts someone by my side, I will immediately slay him. Today, you will apologize in front of everyone to her. You know this matter clearly. It was she who did not want to marry you and left the Jewel Pillar Sacred School. How could there be a rumor about you forsaking her? You will return her reputation, and I will temporarily spare your life today. Li Kai stepped on Dao Child Shengshen and slowly said, Hearing Li Kai's words, everyone looked around at each other. Did anyone expect such a thing? No one thought that Chen Beijiao, as the princess of the Jade Valley Country, would leave the Jewel Pillar Sacred School. Chen Beijiao's heart was beating fast as she felt her nose aching, not noticing that there was mist in her eyes. She didn't think that she could get her reputation back, but Li Kai helped her recover it. In your dreams. If you are so powerful, then kill me, you two pair of bitches. Dao Child Shengshen shouted, Really? Li Kai laughed and pressed down with his foot. Crack crack sounds of broken bones rang as Dao Child Shengshen crazily spewed out blood under the suppression. Li Kai looked at him and nonchalantly said, I rarely torture my enemies to death. Normally, I will grant them a swift end with one blow. However, today, if you are begging to die, it is not a difficult matter, but I will not kill you. I will destroy your Dao Foundation, pierce your life wheel, and shatter your fate palace so that you will forever be a cripple. I trust that your heavenly god sect will not take care of a cripple like you. You. Hearing this, Dao Child Shengshen was palely overwhelmed with shock. For a genius like him, he could start again from the beginning even with a destroyed foundation. However, with a pierced life will and shattered fate palace, even if he survived, he would never be able to cultivate the Dao again and would forever be a cripple. To a high above genius like Dao Child Shengshen, if there was a day where he really became a cripple, this would be a hundred times more agonizing than death. My patience is limited. Li Kai sneered and aimed straight down with his hand towards Dao Child Shengshen's head. A boom sound resonated. Dao Child Shengshen's head exuded wave after wave of universal laws and rolling blood energy, as well as the world's essence, from his fate palace to stop Li Kai's hand. Bang! Under the hell suppressing godly physique, Li Kai's hand was even heavier than a godly mountain. It essentially couldn't block it and, under the pressure, these universal laws shattered along with his blood energy and world's essence. The hand continued towards his fade palace. Dana, while the green hills last, there will still be wood to burn. Seeing this scene, the aghast Wan Shengjin immediately yelled, Even an immortal emperor had moments of defeat and lost their face, let alone you. If we don't make it past today, how could there be a tomorrow? 